I'm right there. I think he shot my friend. I was going crazy. I started screaming. I was like, I was like, oh my god, like. A shot fired in an exclusive neighborhood in Benita, and some are drawing parallels to the Trayvon Martin case. Two teens are taking action tonight after they say the sheriff's department hasn't taken them seriously. As Team 10 investigator Michael Chen found out, the teenagers now filing suit say a man waved a badge just before he fired his weapon. In this quiet, upscale neighborhood in Bonita, gated homes are a norm. But according to this lawsuit, that quiet was shattered by a man with a badge and a gun, and he was not a police officer. The pepper spray right here, is, his hands right here. 18-year-old Adolfo Garcia calls the moments inside this car frantic. The ordeal unfolded on an afternoon in mid-April when Garcia, his friend Kevin Gomez, and two female friends, also Hispanic, walked up this street. Garcia says they did cut across someone's backyard and up to this foreclosure, a home he admits to parting at before. He says he wanted to show the girls the view and stayed only a few minutes. A lot of people who watch this are going to wonder why were these guys going to an abandoned house? We wanted to show the view to our friends. So nothing else was going on inside that house? No, we didn't even go inside the house. When they went back to their car parked on the street, Garcia says a neighbor was standing nearby with a pickaxe and another was at the driver's door yelling at them to sit down, waving an old badge and warning them deputies were on their way. Garcia says he thought the men were crazy and tried to get in the car. I'm just covering myself and I'm just going like this. When the man near the door emptied a can of pepper spray. Moments later. I ducked and then I heard a loud sound, a ringing, and then a bunch of glass all over the place. Garcia says he never saw the gun. His friends did. Shoot, I'm right there. I think he shot my friend. I was going crazy. I started screaming. I was like, I was like oh my God, like. Gomez says the men pointed a gun at him before deputies arrived. The teens have now filed suit against the neighbors. Their attorney says the shooter is a white male and a retired cop. A retired police officer took the law into his own hands. I mean, this was Trayvon Martin all over again. The only thing that was different is no one died. I just don't want this situation to happen to anybody else. Michael Chen, Team 10. We haven't named the neighbors because there have not, they've not been charged. One neighbor hired an attorney who didn't return our calls. Gillian believes that no arrests have been made because the former officer is getting a break. The sheriff's department says a misdemeanor case has been referred to prosecutors.